Maybe not as welcome. Flies are another insect triumph. There are nearly 160,000 different kinds that we already know about. But that's nowhere near the whole story. Recently, in just one year, 30 new species were discovered within the city of Los Angeles alone. So it might be there are even more flies than beetles. But they're not as popular as beetles or butterflies, so fewer people are searching for new ones. Which is a shame, because they're just as beautiful if you look at them in the right way. They're all miracles of micro-engineering. Precision-built, and equipped with some pretty high-tech features. They have gyroscopic stabilizers. Their hind wings are reduced to long stalks with a heavy club at the tip, called halters, that beat up and down as they fly. At the base, there's a complex arrangement of tiny sensors that measure stresses along the stalk. These little knobs behave like gyroscopes. They always beat in the same direction. As the fly's body turns, the halters don't. Instead, they bend and twist at their base and the sensors read this information and send it to the fly's brain. So a fly has continuous feedback on its flight attitude. On roll, pitch, and yaw. It has its own autopilot giving it precise control of its flight path, no matter what hits it. Their mouth parts are just as beautifully engineered. Built like a sponge on a stick. Especially when we provide them with five-star board and lodging. These green bottle flies' eggs will hatch and grow and transform into pupae in just a few days. A couple more days, and the next generation is ready to emerge from the pupae. An inflatable forehead breaks through the tough outer case. These flies are ready to start the whole process again. Each female can lay 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. Eggs that will soon turn into more flies that can each lay 2,000 eggs of their own. If none died, in just two generations, that's two million flies. insect populations could reach such unimaginable numbers, but thankfully, most of their offspring don't survive. 